Alright, just going to make a video showing that Calvinism is completely destroyed and demolished in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 down to verse 31. It just de demolishes not only the Calvinist denial of free will, but also irresistible grace as well. And also uh, the doctrine that basically God predestines you for salvation. Okay, Proverbs chapter, the passage in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 to 31 is a good foreshadowing of the great white throne judgment. And it clearly shows that mankind has the ability to accept or reject God, which again refutes both irresistible grace as well as the, pre the false predestination of Calvinism. So let's get into the text. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 down to verse 31 says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I will also, I will also, I will also will, sorry, I'm not going to read on a computer. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then they shall call upon, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Uh, for they that, for they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Uh, verse 30, and they would none of my counsel, they despised all, all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Now, again, not good at reading things on a computer, but notice there, eat the fruit of their own way. They're held, they're held accountable for their own actions. But like I said, Calvinism destroys any sense of personal accountability for your actions. But notice how it just demolishes all of Calvinism. I have called, but ye refused. Irresistible grace refuted right there. Uh, talks about how uh, they hated knowledge. They would have none of my counsel. They despised my reproof. You know, right there, this one passage, al this passage alone destroys all of Calvinism. Right there, proves free will, proves that you can accept or reject God, proves that you can resist the calling of God, you know, refuting irresistible grace, and proving that you're held accountable for your own actions. But if Calvinism was true, that this was all, this would all be false. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.